So there's this ancient Jewish parable tells of two rabbis who are in a park arguing over a passage in the Torah. Now, they've actually been arguing about this passage for 20 years and they can never find agreement. Now, the story goes that God gets so annoyed listening to them constantly arguing about this passage that he says to all of the angels, I'll go down there and I'll tell them what it means. So God parts the clouds goes down to the two rabbis and says, Dear friends, I've listened to you guys arguing about what this passage means. I'll tell you. And in a rare moment of unity, the two rabbis turn to God and say, What right have you to come down from heaven and tell us what it means? You bugger off and let us argue about it. Now, I love this parable because in many respects, we think that that's what we want. We want God to come down from heaven. We want God to tell us what the passage means. We want God to tell us what the scripture, the message is, the secret message is. But this passage says no. It says what's important is not that you get the right interpretation of the scripture. What's important is that you wrestle with it, that we argue with it, that we are transformed by it. I mean, the people of God have been given the name Israel, and Israel means to fight, to wrestle. In this parable, what's important is that the two rabbis are friends. They meet every day to talk about the passage. And what's more, they're both rabbis, so they both share the same tradition. They both share the same rituals. And yet, they have diversity of belief and diversity of interpretation. Because what's most important is that they belong together and that they share ritual together. Take the example of a piece of art in an art museum. Now, your favourite piece of art, you don't look at it once. You don't just go once at like a postcard and then walk away never to see it again. Your favourite piece of art is something you need to return to again and again and again. Not because you can't, it doesn't speak to you, but because it speaks to you in so many different ways that every time you visit that piece of art, it will say something new to you because you bring something new to it. That you wrestle with it, you fight with it, you, you are transformed by it. Imagine um, a child. A child is born into a family. And before the child has any beliefs or any shared behavior with the parents, they belong, they're loved by the family, they have a place in the family. Then comes behaviour. After a few years, the child begins to you know, eat at the same times as the parents. They go out for walks on a Sunday with the parents. Certain behaviours build up. And finally, belief comes along. And at first, the belief is, is the same as the parents. Then in adolescence, it's diametrically opposed. And finally, whenever they become adults, they find some equilibrium, some things they agree with, and some things they disagree with. But what's most important is that they belong to the family, that they share the rituals of the family. Belief comes last, and belief is fractured. This, for me, is the essence of Christianity. Not that we find the right answer, but that we wrestle with the tradition, we fight with it, we love it, and we're transformed by it.